coming to you guys with another video. Um, yeah, so by the title, you can obviously tell what it's about. And my eye looks dramatically swollen because I'm getting a sty. So, um, randomly, this happened where I stumbled upon um, a video. And this video was about um, information on asylums and what happened in asylums back then when they didn't have proper treatment. So I started getting a lot of images relating to this factor. After I seen these images, this is when I started Googling this stuff. And um, what I seen initially was a girl in a white dress with black hair in a rustic type of room. Um, um, the description was more like padded. I just keep seeing this word. Or was it conviction, rape? Something like that. But I honestly think it was bricks is what I mean by the padded part might not make sense but when you see certain things in it in your vision it may look a little bit different but um I really felt like the spirit was trying to get this information out there simply because her voice wasn't heard back then so it's being heard now <sighs> don't get emotional I can't get emotional uh just okay I just got this image of um, a woman who actually looks mentally disturbed. Um, she had she had these glossy eyes. What I mean by glossy was like her the color of her eyes was like um, a green color, like a light green color, and her hair was like all over the place. And, um, yeah, she had on the white dress. She had on the black hair. Wow. It just hit me out of nowhere. Like, I have to, like, play this video back to actually see what my... <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but I want to see what I look like when I zone out like that. And actually catch when I zone out. Because I know when it happened. So, um... I'm going to get into further description about what i seen because I just got cut off by um, those words of rape and that woman's face. This is a very touchy subject for me, so excuse me. Um, i seen that rustic type of room. It was like shown to me in a green marble type of way like the um the color was like of a green marble kind of like a filter that's how i see some of the background sometimes it's kind of like either it's an old time film type of filter or it can the filter of the room can resonate with that time and place so it was a rustic type of green in certain areas but it was very dark in certain areas like where it was green like the deep green is where I seen um most of the highlighted parts if that makes sense like the illuminated parts of the room were green so anyway um I said I was gonna tell you and it's already four minutes since okay so in this room her bed was in like the corner it was like a cell out a cell sorry I just started getting these words blocking my vision honestly I just seen tumor for some reason and I felt compelled to say that a tumor but um her bed was in the corner and um against the wall one of those beds that had the railing and stuff and um she was sitting on top of this bed, like her legs was up there and everything. She was just sitting up and um, 
if you're ever watching a movie and you see the cameraman come up behind a person, so you see like the half portion of his back, like you see the portion of his, God, I can't speak right now, it's just everything is overlaying. You just see the back side of him. Like that's what I seen. I seen the back side of him, like the side of him on what he was doing. And she was sitting on the bed and from that viewpoint, in my peripheral, I seen, um, a man with, I'm seeing a black tag, it just popped up, um, a black name tag, like a little one, and a white, he had on a white shirt, and his shirt was tucked in his pants, and I don't know what color pants he had on, because, like, the vision, like, where how I seen it, I didn't see much of his pants, I just seen the portion of his belt and the belt was like um a simple type of belt you know i don't know if because when i say a simple type of belt not like having all these different holes it was very simple like maybe one of those one hold belts yeah so i seen that part like the back side of him and he was unbuckling his belt like, I seen the part where he's like, I'm holding my phone. So he's unbuckling his belt, and the belt goes this way. And then, like, the belt piece goes this way. And then he's on his way to unlatching the metal piece in the middle so he can further do what he's going to do. Um, I just seen Asylum just now. So let me just get into the facts that um, really stood out to me other than the fact that I just seen this woman show me the fact, like the moment of time before she got raped. And the way she was sitting there, honestly, I the word, it got repeated. And I seen over five times. I get really emotional and like this part starts to really tingle. And like I said before, it happens really randomly. The visions and things. I don't choose to see this stuff. It just comes to me. So, um, I wrote it down on, like, an envelope. Because <laughs> I just needed to hurry up and write stuff down. So, after I got these images, um, I went and I googled rape, patients raped in an asylum. And as you might, as you may know, from my other previous videos and comments that I see certain orbs and lines around different words. So, um, and as these questions are rising, these new words are being highlighted. So I'm gonna just get right into it. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. So I started on the back of the envelope. And where did I start? I'm gonna just, read it um i was reading this article and like parts of the words were being highlighted and one of the words were freedom and in that sense in the sentence i have to understand the way i wrote it because i was just simply just jotting things down in that sentence instead of fighting for freedom Um, another thing that just glowed to me just now with a white line is, um, only a minority of the patients have serious health problems. And I'm trying to like concentrate, but I keep zoning back to that picture that I got. She's very persistent. Another word is, um, sedatives. I don't know if they were using sedatives. Maybe back then they were using another way to, um, I don't know. Because I feel like I just got an image of these needles and injections. So it could have been that because I also have parts in here when it tells where I underlined the fact that they were being misdiagnosed, basically. So let me just keep reading because I don't want to get too jittery in this and then um i i wrote down defendant could 
defended conditions, meaning that these conditions, these horrid conditions, they were getting defended. And what was? Oh, all right. This was another part that came up to me. It was driven by the asylum founder. Yes. Okay. I'm just trying to process all of this. Let me just keep reading. Um, also wrote down the sentence reveals how former patients claimed. And I underlined claimed because when I got that word, I felt like she wasn't being believed. And that also ties in with defended conditions or how they was misdiagnosing, over-medicating, and letting this rape continue. So... She just kept pushing this word out to me. Rape, rape, rape. So, um, the sentence that I wrote down next was, they were raped in the institution. And honestly, before I even read this sentence just now, when I told you about rape, I also seen institution. Uh, I hate getting overly emotional about this stuff. Um, and then woman raped. Because I wrote that down because I told you that I kept getting these words rape. And that's what I wrote down because that's what was highlighted for me. Um, let me try to understand what I'm writing. Isolation room. You know it's weird? Isolation room is right next to woman raped. And once I read Isolation Room, Woman Glowed. It was a cell. And I just got an image of an a old type of key, like rusty, like a metal. It's weird because I'm starting to get this clicking sound in my head. Oh, yeah. This is the part that really struck out to me, and I wanted to get this information out to you guys before I even started reading this stuff, so I won't look like maybe I'm fibbing. So, um, the information that I also got from before when I was getting all of these image, images was, this was a very old time, um, definitely a time where they wore those bigger type of dresses and men were posing in photos of black and white um it was definitely her parents i feel like her parents sent her away but another thing that i didn't write down that's popping up in my head is community because that highlighted so maybe her parents supported this choice or she did something that was looked down upon and she was thrown in an asylum um what else it's very hard for me when I start getting sensitive information, especially when I see things that's being highlighted in these statements of other people and facts about other things. And they're basically shouting to you like, this is what happened. So... This was another part that I wrote down, and that's why it was saying that they were over-medicating, because it says, wondering if over-regulations on med um, reliance. See, I wrote this all down. We're re regulations on med. If over-reliance on medication have helped. So basically, they were wondering if the heavy use of medication that they were using have, have actually helped. I feel like there's a part on the back that I have to go to. That makes sense. How is it going to help if half of them weren't even mentally unstable? They just grew mentally unstable. Now. Um, A part that I wrote down was scared off. Like, 
I know it doesn't sound right on the places that I'm starting because I picked these certain places out of the sentences. So yeah, I don't have the full sentence here. I just wrote down what was underlined to me, what kept on popping up and popping up, which things I can't ignore because if they keep on popping up in the same area, I just feel like I have to pay attention to it. So it says scared off and misinformed and a desire to save a desire to sweep difficult issues under the rug. Yeah. So we all know what that means. It happens all the time, even in hospitals around in today's time. People are still getting treated in these difficult conditions. Um, and it also says needs right medication. So when I get when I seen this just now, I got an image of a doctor in a white lab coat at his desk and I feel like um they were overly prescribing it and putting her on he heavy sedatives I'm sorry for like cutting off and things it's just I'm very open right now so everything is just flowing and flowing and flowing over top of each other sad and I keep going back to this part where the mom had to deal with the handicapped son and um the part that I underlined was handicapped son so maybe they felt as if because back then that was really looked down upon you really were looked at as a creature of some sort of some sort it said um, in one of the videos that I was watching, I just can't get this part out of my mind for some reason. I know I'm going to say it wrong because I'm going to just paraphrase. If you associate with shit, you become shit. And that was a statement of one of the employees that worked at the asylum hospital that was showing around another new former employee after she smacked a blind man from the back of his head it's just all very it just makes me feel a certain way because this happens all around the world not even just in asylums or mental asylums it's just sad how people who are taken advantage of Like the one woman who was raped in the asylum over 60 times by a senior. And she was on heavy sedatives. Yeah, that really sticks with you. <laughs> so yeah, that was the video. I hope it wasn't that long or too all over the place because my thoughts honestly was all over the place. And at this point, I have to study. Basically, I have to study. But I had to get this information out because I felt like it was too valuable. That's the word. I noticed that too. When I get certain words that pop up in my head, I use them. You're like, those are your thoughts. But no. It's just those certain words and images. It was too valuable to just not talk about right now. When I have fresh memory of this. Because this all happened within the last hour. So yeah, I know the lighting looks terrible and my bed is all messed up and stuff is all on it. I'm all over the place. 